So let's head over to round two, guys. And another intriguing matchup here on this this quarter of the bracket was kind of rough. Braun Strowman takes on Josh Alexander. Big fight here, boy. I'll tell you what. This, this you know, if you've had Strowman in uh, TNA, that's a main event match. NJ Holiday, who's going to the semifinals? Or maybe they can't settle it. We have a draw or something like that. Braun Strowman and Josh Alexander. What do you think, NJ? No, the walking weapon. Uh, Josh Alexander's got this. He's going to find a way to outwit uh, Braun Strowman. Braun Strowman's going to find a way to like self destruct and hurt himself. And then Josh Alexander is going to find a way to hit that ankle lock on him or some other submission on him or hit him with that pile driver and then get the one, two, three. He's going to outlast Braun Strowman through cardio, through technician, through wit, through perseverance, through passion. The long, one of the longest reigning TNA champions uh, gets to win on this one. Now, before I give my selection on this, the reason that I wanted Greg Valentine to face Josh Alexander was because of the Roddy Piper feud. Oh. And beating on the ear, because I guarantee you, if Greg Valentine had seen Josh Alexander wearing uh, wearing his headpiece or headgear, Greg Valentine rips that thing off and is pounding on Josh Alexander's ears I like that. For, for 15 minutes. It's a guarantee. But we didn't get it. I, you guys disagree with me? So Greg Valentine did not get the chance. I will I will advance Josh Alexander as well. I think he beats Braun Strowman. Stu, did you have a different opinion on that? Nope. Nope. There you go. I agree. All right. So, I think so, I think you know, and you know, I, I say it because I like Braun, but <laughs> he he'll get injured. That too. <laughs> that too. It'll be an intriguing match to watch, though, that's for yeah. sure. So Josh Alexander goes into the semifinals. Here's another fun one. A similar matchup for Kamala. You got Kushida in round one. Now he faces Rich Swan in round two. We have a similar result on this, Stu. What do you think? Um, man, this is a tough one. Because you didn't, you didn't have Kamal advancing in the first. I did one, not. So. I, I wanted Kushida, but um. Well, I see why now. You were you you were setting up a nice little car for Rich Swan yeah. versus Kushida. That would have been a nice match. But I would. You see the fun of this? I'm just and keep, all the different ways these things could go. I'm keeping it honest though. If Kamala was in the ring with Kushida, he ain't winning. Sorry. <clears throat> um, I, I think I got to go with Kamala. Kamala. I don't know why, team. but there's I don't know. That's the that's, weight detection, heavyweight versus cruiserweight. It's gonna be kind of hard for well, Rich Swan to let's, really let's, hit him. I mean, you know, small men have beaten big men before. That's not a, that's not exactly a rarity, but I don't but know. But the outside about, presence that Kamala has too, though. Well, yeah, that had. depends. Yeah. If you got, you got, you know, With Friday the and you got Akbar or, or whoever. Uh -huh. Um. Yeah, I think I'll have to go with Kamala. There you go. And I'm, I'm going to agree with you guys. I, I think that there would be a lot of outside interference and Kamala would be drawing heat in this tournament. That is for sure. Oh, without question. So we will have Kamala going to the semifinals of this one. Next matchup. This would be fun to watch. Kurt Angle taking on Hammerstone. Yeah, I like that match. Too. Ooh, boy, oh boy. Man, you you know, and you cannot underestimate the agility of Hammerstone along with that power. That's not an easy matchup for Kurt Angle to win. Stu, who gets this one? The who gets the Duke for you on this one? Is it Kurt Angle or Hammerstone? Man, I'm almost, I'm almost tempted <laughs> to say double count out. But Ooh, okay. be, that's I okay. I mean, it, it feels like it. it feels like this should be you should pick a winner. So, uh, Kurt Angle, Hammerstone. I am going to go with. I'm gonna go Hammerstone. Why not? Wow, nice. Hammerstone. I think NJ Holiday. I think the power will get will overcome the the skill. Woo, NJ Holiday, Hammerstone or Kurt Angle in this quarterfinal matchup. Mm. Yeah, I gotta go with the Olympian, man. Kurt Angle. Yeah. I gotta go with him. Cause like I said, we've seen him uh overcome. We I mean, 
it's a guy I saw make Hulk Hogan tap out. He made Undertaker tap out for the only time. He made John Cena tap out. You know, he he found a way to beat the Big Show in his prime. You know, he beat Brock. He made Brock Lesnar tap out. So that's what I'm comparing it to. Brock versus Hammerstone was just another match of Brock versus Kurt Angle. And we saw what happened with that at SummerSlam 2003. Uh, this is an Iron Man match that Brock won. Okay. And then we all know what happened at WrestleMania 19, but <laughs> Kurt's neck was freaking broken. Let's let's keep it a book. Uh, so... Yeah, I got Kurt Angle uh, outwitting or outlasting Hammerstone, a, a nice five star classic, but ultimately Hammerstone uh, taps out to the ankle lock. Yeah, this it's a tough decision too, but I I have to say it, guys. I'm breaking the tie, and I'm going with Kurt Angle. I I I think that would be I think it would be a fantastic match to watch. Yeah, no doubt about that. Yeah, and and I think Hammerstone would show incredibly well, but. Yeah, I got I got to go with Kurt on this one. So, Kurt Angle is going to advance. Sorry, Stu. No, no, it's okay. <laughs> I get that. You're supposed to pitch a fit. Like we're wrong. Uh, it, it, it it's almost midnight here in in Austin. <laughs> I'm, I'm, it's too late for me to pitch a fit. Fair enough. <laughs> All right, last last semi or quarterfinal match is Thunderbolt Patterson against JBL. I like that intriguing like matchup that intriguing there match. as well. Yeah. Uh, Stu Thunderbolt Patterson against JBL. This, this is going to, that would be a war. It would That'd be, a, be war. a war, but I'm going to go with, I'm going to go with Layfield. Yeah. Uh, Lay, uh, JBL is going to cheat with the cabinet, the, the Basham brothers, <laughs> <laughs> just like he did with Booker T. We saw that Survivor Series of 04. It was him and Booker T at Survivor Series with the title. And then JBL finds a way with the cabinet. You know, with Orlando Jordan getting involved and wow, and pulling then, on Orlando Jordan, yeah, nice the cabinet, uh, and distracting Thunderbolt Patterson turns around, close line from hell, and JBL advances. All right, and I'm with JBL on that too. So we're unanimous on that one. Yeah. So, so here's now our semifinals, uh, or just to recap, Braun, uh, Braun, uh, Alec, Josh Alexander beats Braun Strowman, Kam, uh, Kamala beats Rich Swan, Kurt Angle over Hammerstone. JBL over Thunderbolt Patterson. Hi, pro wrestling fans. Marco here. I'd really appreciate it if you would take a moment to join the Marco Show family and please click on the subscribe button below. Also, please stick around and check out the incredible sponsor of this video. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you again on the Marco Show YouTube channel. Want a matching bonus up to 500 bucks and have fun betting on pro wrestling plus all your favorite sports and entertainment events? Then you need to check out betonline.ag. Bet on all the top wrestling events, plus you can get a free 50% matching bonus up to $1,000 on your initial deposit. Just go to markhokeshow.com, click on the betonline.ag link, and use sign-up code BOL1000 to get in on the action today and receive your 50% matching bonus. So get in on all the betting excitement. Sign up right now on markhokeshow.com with betonline.ag.